guys and welcome back to another Sunday Reset. If you are a busy mum and you're doing the housework, you're getting things done, pop this video on in the background, we can get it done together. That is the purpose of these videos so we're not doing all the jobs on our own. And today I'm helping myself by setting a timer because I've procrastinated all morning watching Love Island, the All Stars version. Um, I've just got back from holiday with Arlo, went on a solo flight with him, two solo flights actually, and it was a bit of a nightmare and the house has definitely taken its toll whilst I've been away. Mikey has definitely not kept on top of anything. Um, so I'm just trying to get everything in order, put all the washing away that's been left there all week and just try and get the house in a better state. Arlo's actually been at a sleepover with his nanny. So this is my chance now just to get the house in a good state, ready to be destroyed again. So Arla has a bit of an obsession at the moment with cuddly soft toys. He's worked out how to actually open the bean bag that I store all his soft toys in and he's emptied it, decanted it everywhere. So I'm just lying here for a second, regaining my strength and then I'm gonna put all the teddy bears back in the bean bag. Is anyone else's kid like a teddy bear hoarder? Like he will have his whole room filled to the brim with soft toys and teddy bears if he could have his own way. He just loves them. And there's like different tiers of teddy bears as well. Like some of the popular ones will make it to tier one. Some of them that are less used, they'll be tier two. There'll be like third tier teddy bears. And I just find that really funny how like he creates a system in his head of like who's the most popular ones. Does anyone else's toddler do that too? So literally the day before, or the day before the day before, we went away, he had a sickness bug and he was sick all night. Like literally threw up about five times. Every time we bathed him, got him settled, get, got him in his pajamas, he'd throw up again in his bed. So I have um, not had any like duvet on his bed whilst we've been away. It's been drying. So I just need to remake the bed, get everything all nice for him. And then I realized that I've bloody forgotten the um, mattress protector. So I've got to take all the sheets off and put it back on. Um, I'm having a bit of a fail today, to be honest, with everything. I am struggling, to be honest. Like, I just can't be arsed. I just can't be bothered to do Why anything. So I'm please. hoping that filming this will help you know, motivate myself as well as you today. It can be tough on those days where you just don't have the energy. Like, being a mum is so draining and, like, there are so many things that just take all the energy out of you on a day-to-day -day basis. But I feel like on these Sunday resets, if we can just put this on together and just get it done together, it makes it so much more enjoyable. And like, yeah, I just love doing it with you guys. It really helps me as well as hopefully helping you. We've actually fallen into a bit of a rut of Arlo sleeping in my bed. And this is because of he was ill just before we went away and he was just really unsettled. And then he was sleeping in a bed and sharing a bed with me um, in his nanny and granddad's apartment. So he's got really used to being with me. And last night was the first night in like two weeks where we haven't slept in the same bed. And he was crying for me when he was at his nanny's for a sleepover. And I had to FaceTime him and read him a bedtime story, bless him. Um, 
Um, so I'm gonna have to sort of like the next few days try and retrain him to sleep in his own bed because we just don't get enough sleep when he's in our bed. Like he will just kick Mikey, try and kick him out of the bed. I also don't know about anyone else, but I've been feeling so much pressure in January, like to start the year off how I mean to go on and like just be on top of everything, smash everything, like make loads of YouTube videos and make loads of reels and just like try and succeed with everything. And the pressure on my shoulders has been so much that I've literally cracked and I feel like that shouldn't be the way like we should let January be the month where we're regaining our strength we're like setting our goals easing into the year instead of having all this expectation on us so if you're feeling the stress and the pressure at the minute too please know you're not alone I'm definitely going through the same as you I'm gonna fill you in properly in Wednesday's vlog, but as I mentioned, I've just got back from Tenerife and I had a solo traveling experience with my toddler. It was a bloody nightmare, but I'm glad I went. It was an experience and honestly, I feel so proud of myself for accomplishing that because I just wanted to face my fears head on this year and just push through. And I know if I did that, that I could achieve anything this year. So I'm really proud of myself for doing it. And although it was such hard work and I'll go into everything on Wednesday, I just, I am proud of myself. I'm just now getting around to taking down all the Christmas cards and I thought I would treat myself over my new Scrub Daddy Damp Duster. Um, I got one in blue this time so I'm really excited to use it. I'm going to use it on the skirting boards and on some other places as well that are thick with dust in my house. How satisfying is all this dust that I collected on the fireplace with the damp duster? I'm also just going to be mopping the floor and just giving it a quick clean over. So I've mopped Arlo's play area, just popping his little table and his arts and crafts Lazy Susan back and then I'm just going to be moving on to mopping the rest of the living room. If like me you also struggle with getting motivation to try and get things done, definitely pop a timer on, it will honestly get you to do so much and also just have something to look forward to afterwards. So like in my head I was like, as soon as I finish this I can watch the rest of Love Island or just have something to look forward to to like reward yourself once you're done even if it's just like having some chocolate or just having I don't know reading a book or having a face mask that always helps me as well but just know that you are going to be completely finished after that timer has gone off otherwise you'll just end up procrastinating and not really getting much done so it's better to have like a designated time slot where you go all in and then finish after that time has ended 
hope you guys have found this video motivating in some way make sure you pop me a like if it has done and let me know in the comments and i will see you guys in wednesday's vlog and next sunday's reset